Your DNA origami project will start with these materials. Initially, we'll start with the paper that I give to you. On that paper, you will see the separate nucleotides. Each nucleotide needs to be colored before you begin doing any cutting or folding. This is an example paper of what it should look like. Once you cut out the outside border, you will see vertical lines on the paper. The solid lines will be mountain folded lines. In other words, they will be folded up like a mountain. The dashed lines will be valley folded lines. They will be folded down like a valley. You need to fold each of the vertical lines as you begin. The best thing to do is take the paper and fold it completely over one line at a time, doing so on each of the borders. Do so carefully as you start to move down the paper. Go back and refold and recrease. Folder can be used on this part in order to keep your line straight. When finished, this is how your origami paper should look. Notice how the outside and the middle are ridges or little mountains that are folded upward in three dimensions. And on the side, you can see how that fold should take place. Do not proceed until you have your paper looking exactly this way. Next, take your paper and fold it in half. Overlap the outside edges of the open end so that your DNA molecule looks more like a ladder. Your outside edges can then be folded down flat. Your paper will indicate the up and the down side. Take the down side and look in the nucleotides. Notice there are solid and dashed lines. Remember, solid lines are mountain folds, dashed lines are valley folds. You need to fold the molecule all the way down and make each fold a tight crease before you go back and do the diagonal folds. Once completed, your paper should look like this. Notice the mountain folds. You will start to see that it becomes circular. Now find the dotted folds. You need to be careful when doing this to make sure that you are right on the dotted fold line. As you do so, you will notice that you will form a diagonal shape. You will follow the dotted lines all the way down the molecule again. As you do so, you will notice that your DNA molecule will start to take on a spiral shape and these folds will overlap over each other as shown. This needs to be done all the way down to the bottom. Under close-up you'll notice the folds directly on these lines. Please try to keep the folds as close to the line as possible as you go around. If you start to get a little off, it will affect the total outcome. In the final product, your DNA molecule should be circular in shape when completely folded. It should also be flat. As you start to pull it apart, go back to the top edge along the side and start to fold the sides perpendicular to your nucleotides, like shown. You need to do this all the way down the molecule on both sides in order to get it back to a sturdy shape. Try not to leave the sides flat at any point. Once completed, your molecule should have a springy type shape so you can 
grab each end, push them together, and it will spring back to its original size. You should be able to condense it back into that circular shape that you started with. Pull your molecule back apart again and stretch out. Make sure that the sides are still perpendicular to the nucleotides. In doing so, you should see all the colored nucleotides as well as the sides of the DNA molecule as well. It should have the same general shape. If your shape is not like this, go back and check your folds and try to correct them at any point. Your final product should appear as shown.